all the fluff buds in the world. So as soon as you come out of the port, there they are. Look at this. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, look how many there are. They're just literally hanging out. All right, well, we made it on to Bunny Island. I've always wanted to come here and it really did not disappoint. Like, as soon as you step off the docks, they are freaking everywhere. <laughs> this is too cute, man. I can't handle it. I like how this one just found the lettuce. It's just like eating straight from the bag. That's right, you're, you're, the, you're the smart one. You are. <laughs> The island itself is quite picturesque and you can walk around the entire perimeter in just a couple of hours. I felt peace and tranquility interacting with these sweet animals in such an idyllic setting. It felt surreal. just about like everything that I expected it to be and more. No one knows how many rabbits are on this island, but their numbers must be in the thousands. Many believe that in the 70s, a group of students released eight bunnies here and left unattended, they kind of took over the entire island. While Okunoshima is now solely a tourist attraction, it has quite a dark history. During World War II, this island was used to produce chemical weapons, such as poison gas. Here's the remnant of one of the several poison gas factories. They are museums now. It's remarkable how nature, in the form of wild rabbits, has reclaimed this place. These are possibly the happiest bunnies in the world. No shortage of food or massages. Oh my god, is this one also hanging out? There's two now. Oh no, I can't pet both of them at once. What do I do? Okunushima is well worth a visit, and I have posted information on how to get there below. Let me know what you think of this experience in the comments and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thanks so much for watching. See you guys! <laughs> monsters! You're monsters!